This is Patricio back for more Space Kim. Settling into the routine. And this will become routine. <laughs> okay, you see that you have down here two different reactors assembly and disassembly. Uh, if I remember correctly, assembly only bonds, while disassembly only debonds. One of the things which they don't really describe to you very well unless you caught it. Um, now, we have here gonna have to take one of these hydrogens out and glue these two together and glue the two hydrogens together. Now that might be done with one reactor, I don't know, I am not gonna test, I don't care, but we're gonna have to break this apart, so we're gonna use a disassembly, I'm gonna put it there, and since we have to glue it together, I doubt you can do this with one reactor, we'll find out. And since we have to glue them back together, we need two assemblies right there. Now, connect with the pipes. And then we can actually get started. Now, since the upper one is going to take in hydrogen, let's see here. There's that note. And the lower one's going to have this yucky little ethane bit. And just going to have a carbon and three hydrogens. That's it. And move that down here. Now we can actually begin. Okay. This is where I go silent and think. <laughs> Which is not really a good thing, I know, but... Okay... I'm gonna grab it by the carbon. So put an input there. And we're only interested in separating the carbon and the hydrogen. So if we move it down... by one... Or should I do two? Let's do two. That will be... World B, right? Yeah. And let's blue do that. Okay. Um, yeah, we need a sink there. thinking about this it needs to sink and then debond then it will grab and then blue can get out of the way and have another sink there Tell red, okay, I'm done. You can get out of the way now. Let's see if that will work. Let me just test that out right now. Before I get too far ahead of myself. Yep, that looks good. Yep, I'm changing this. Let drop it right there. Output. And the two sinks should be all that's needed. We don't need any more sinks there. And we dropped right there. Out. see what that looks like. Good. Good. 
this sure does take a long time for it to get back. Everything looks, I'd like to do at least two rounds to make sure that everything's working the way it should be. Okay. No, don't think about it. Don't think about it. here now. Um, this should be very, very simple. In fact, um, since we got two, let's see if we can really speed this up. What I'm thinking of is... Same thing. Hmm. Technically, the Later reactors just needs to be more important for speed. Will it really matter though? No, it really, really doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and lower this. I need this to be farther down. Grab, then move over here. And then bond. Just, yeah, it's just gonna be moved over here. That's no big deal at all. Don't need to worry about the placement here. And output. That should work. I'll just speed this up for. Uh oh, I see a problem already. sink, I'm sorry to say. Alright, let's do this again. And the ironic, ironic thing is, is there's a very late game thing called Flip Flop that'll be excellent right here. But we don't have access to that right now. Looks like it's doing okay, so let's stop and go to this reactor. Oh. Okay. And we're just going to need to worry about two carbons for this one, and this is probably going to have to do us a little more fancy dance. Let's just um, do it like this. Question is, well, um, let's just go ahead and do this first. And where to put the bonds? Well, that's. This is not really a friendly. more space. Ugh. Yeah, we need more space. Okay, let's try it 
there. And see what I'm thinking of is how to not ram into that hydrogen. I think I'm going to be doing it. There'll be one bonder somewhere on here and another bonder somewhere around here. I'm going to need to rotate this at least twice. And then let it land someplace. That would be too far up, I'm afraid. Anyway, we'll drop it here. Then we'll go back up. I want to do that one first to keep it out of this grab's way. And then it can just bond. And come over here. Wait, we already got a bond down there. Don't need you. Don't need you. No, don't need you. Uh, I wonder if it's possible to really overthink. I think so. <laughs> With this game. <laughs> Drop. And then head over and out. Now, odds are I probably screwed up somewhere around here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, oh, did I ever show you this? Well, now you know. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Come on. I don't want to go too fast. I'll miss something. Seriously? I got that in the first try? <sighs> let's, let's watch it from the beginning. See the hydrogens and... The rest of the compound break up. The pipes are staying pretty clean. Seems okay. Ugh, time wise, though, it's pretty sucky. Symbols is average. Looks like everybody used three reactors. I suspected. I'll just speed that up. I do not want to think about it. No. No. I do not want to think about it. Oh, I think I remember this one. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to tease this for next time. But consider, consider this. You got triple bond of nitrogen, but you need a triple bond to a carbon with just one nitrogen. Which means you want to get rid of these three hydrogens. But you only want to bo have a bond of two hydrogens. What are you going to do with the third hydrogen? This was the first one that really stumped me just on that one thing. And when I found the answer to it, I felt like an idiot. Which is normal in this game, Space Kim. This is Brian, also known as Patricio. You call me whatever. <laughs> Saying bye for now.